Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at this Pace MBT250. It is a rework station. All right. And a buddy of mine, uh, I don't know where he got this thing from, uh, but he got it used uh, either from eBay or, I don't know, some company going out of business. And um, it had been sitting around his place for a while, and, and then he drug it over here and <laughs> said I could use it because he wasn't using it. And I never did really mess with it too much, but uh, I went ahead and, and pulled it out the other day and, and tried using it, and it, it didn't work. He got all this stuff uh, with this thing. I mean, this thing has got parts to pull out uh, some pretty big chips. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. But yeah, what I'm looking for is I want to be able to uh, desolder pins on the boards because I have some boards I need to rework. And... So, uh, so I tried this one right here, this, this hand, this one right here, the SX80, uh, SODR extractor. <laughs> and, um, it didn't work. So I, I put together this guy right here, which is the, the sense, sense attempt thermojet two, uh, static dissipative. I don't see a model number on it anywhere. But uh, anyway, um, I tried hooking it up and it didn't work either. So, uh, and and I sh when I say don't work, that they get hot, but it's not sucking the solder out. I have a feeling that maybe something has clogged up inside of this guy. And so I was, <laughs> even though my friend doesn't know this yet, I'm going to take it apart <laughs> and see if we can figure it out. But before I do that, uh, since I'm working on this old bit of gear here, I, uh, I wanted to test the vacuum and the only thing I could find was, was my old vacuum and pressure test kit that as you can tell from the, this box, I have had this for decades. <laughs> so I think I've only used it once. And, um, so I pulled out the, the, uh, the vacuum gauge if you will, and, and I, I don't know, I haven't looked at the manual to see what this thing is supposed to uh, suck. <laughs> a mercury per inch, but this this goes up to, uh, I guess, 30 inches of mercury, and whatever it is in centimeters of mercury. But, um, so I don't know, that this, this might pull a lot more, we might bottom this thing out in just a hurry. But anyway, we'll, we'll give it a shot, okay? All righty. So I went ahead and I'll show you real quick. I went ahead and plugged the cord in, and and I also plugged in this uh, this foot pedal. This this acts the same as this uh, button on the activates the uh, vacuum pump inside. <laughs> and so uh, so I turned it on earlier just to make sure everything was was powered up and I see it's given an error I, I'm guessing E1 means it's there's no uh, handle plugged into it but yeah I didn't want to go ahead I didn't want to fire up the you know a, a soldering iron just to do a vacuum test on it but anyway I I hit the <laughs> I hit this thing right here <laughs> and I about jumped out of my skin I forgot how loud that thing <laughs> That thing is, it is, uh, it's pretty loud. Anyway, I dug through the, the junk my buddy had and found a little piece of, uh, hose and this adapter for this guy. And we'll go ahead and just, anyway, before we do that, um, I want, I want you to listen to this thing. It, it sounds like it's, you know, it's it's going full blast, and then all of a sudden, it's it's getting loaded down. There's nothing plugged into this. Thing. 
Okay, yeah, so <laughs> I had it backwards actually. This is the output, this is the input, and I guess I could have looked at this. I, I had it hooked up right when I was uh, messing with it. It was a while back when I messed with this, so I don't really remember. But um, yeah, I, this thing right here doesn't seem to do anything, and, and yeah, I, I, I don't really have the manual for this thing. It, it had a little quick start book that was in that box, but uh, I hadn't really looked at it. I figured we'd just figure it out on the fly, right? So uh, let me go ahead and plug this guy in here. And uh, sorry, it's upside down. Let's, let's see if this what kind of vacuum this thing's pulling. Whoa! Not much. So okay. Yeah, this doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I might have to might have to see if I can find the manual uh, or take it apart. We might be able to just figure it out. I'm, I'm, I don't know, you know, looking at this thing, if I had to guess, it would, you know, positive would be more air, negative would be less air, and maybe that's how it regulates the, um, you know, how, how much suction it has. But as you can see, oh, there we go. Here, we can just do it like this. It's, uh, what is that? One, two, two inches of mercury. That's, uh, that's not a lot. That's, <laughs> that's that's not very much. Let's see what the output says. This thing should go positive, I believe that's what that is. Well, that does nothing. I'm guessing these air holes here probably have something to do with it. So, uh, all right. Well, there you have it. You, you kind of see what's going on. And I mean, to me, it sounds like it's clogged up, which, Kind of makes sense. Let me see. I can feel air coming out of this thing. So, uh, but I, as you can tell, it's it's not a lot. Here, watch. I can I can push more pressure with my mouth than uh, than this thing can do. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's leaking out of this thing. Who knows? So, um, all right. So I was uh, I was taking a look at this thing, yeah, you know, looking at the back, and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I can probably pull off this back plate, and maybe there's a chassis inside this thing that slides out, or or maybe it's on some kind of slides. This looks like it's a piece of extruded aluminum, and uh, now as I was rolling it over. You hear that? Something is rattling around in there. So, uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's not a piece of metal and it's been shorting something out. But anyway, um, I think I'll uh, get my screwdriver out and, and pull these screws out. I won't bore you with, with watching me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and Pulled all eight screws out of this thing, and uh, let's see what's in here. Yeah, this thing is pretty heavy. <laughs> it weighs like ten pounds, and uh, I, I figured there's a big old transformer in here. And this is, this looks like what it's what's flapping around in there. Uh, I don't know what that's for, but. Um, yeah, so, okay, so yeah, it, it is, it does slide in there. You can see right there, they've got these clamps right here. And I need to uh, make sure there's, I see the vacuum pump kind of down off in there. You can kind of, yeah, I don't know if you can see it real well. Yeah, so we've got a, uh, a choke right here. It looks like it's connected to that motor, probably to uh, to lessen the uh, in inductive kick when that thing turns on and off. I'm guessing, and uh, and uh, I don't know. I can see some caps and stuff. The board's mounted upside down. I'm guessing this thing's gonna slide out of here. Might have to. 
I might have to unplug these connectors right here. And uh, I wonder if I can... Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, turn the camera off. I'm going to try loosening this up. Maybe I can just slide everything out. I might have to pull the front faceplate off first, but let's see if we can get that to work. Let me loosen this up. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I, I loosened up both these these bolts that are tying this uh, bottom plate to the uh, to the chassis, and it's not loosening, uh, not sliding. I'm guessing that uh, I probably have to loosen some up in the front. I don't think these are holding. Yeah, they're not really over any of the um, the mounting slots right here, so I don't think the transformer nuts are holding anything down. But I'm guessing there's probably some bolts in the front of this thing that's holding them down and and I am I am hoping that this thing is just gonna kind of lean forward so I can work on it um, anyway I'll loosen it up and I'll be right back okay so I loosened up these screws and this little ring kind of comes off here and yeah Looks like it just folds right over. And uh, let's see, can you see down in here? So here are the hoses going to the, the pump down in there. And I'm looking at this flat, flat flex right here. I really don't want, maybe I can put, maybe I can push it forward to, uh, to get this unit out of here. So, yeah, hold on for a sec. Uh, I'm gonna try to get get down in there. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna try to get down in there and loosen these two bottom plate bolts up and see if maybe we can slide it forward because I'm not, I don't know if I can pull that panel off there. It looks like, it looks like it comes off. This flat flex connector doesn't look like it comes off. So, uh, anyway, I'll loosen it up. I'll be right back. All right, so I loosened it up and and uh, gave it a little bit of a, a push from behind. And it looks like it is going to come out. Trying to be very careful. I don't want to break this. It is not mine. Probably should take my. Yeah, I'm gonna take my ring off just in case. There's uh, these caps are still charged up, <laughs> and uh, be bad enough to give me a jolt, but I don't want to short anything out and blow anything up. That's a little bit more of a repair video than I want to do, right? Yeah, all right. So now what? Um. I like how nice and modular the whole design is. Let's see. Well, I'll lift up on that. Oops. All right, so there you go. Here's the uh, main board. Looks like it's just being held down by these two hoses. Probably disconnect. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's where that plastic piece busted off. It's right there on the pump. I wonder if I wonder if that's huh. well, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know how this thing works. So uh, let me see here. Let me see if I can flip it and disconnect these hoses real quick. Try to remember which one is which. Let's see, can we flip this? Oh, we've got the power connector. That thing's pretty crusty looking, isn't it?
somewhere, some way if we can put it on here where we can power it up. Oh boy. <laughs> Nothing like poking around hot mains voltage, huh? So I was sitting there thinking I, I was going to look at some of the stuff on the board. <laughs> I was pretty interested to see how they kept the, uh, the chip <laughs> socket with the old uh, zip tie, yeah. But I thought, no, I need to stay focused on, on getting this thing repaired, uh, which I'm guessing is probably going to be um, because of this pump right here. And uh, I mean, the one broken piece we found looks like it goes to the pump. So let me see. I need to figure out how we can power this thing up and not electrocute ourselves with it while we are uh, uh, testing here. I mean, well, we can look at it real quick. So this thing, yeah, so you, I don't know if you can see, let me look it up here. I can see it right now, kind of what the problem is. So <laughs> there. This has to be some homemade deal that these guys made. But anyway, this thing clamps to the shaft right here. And I don't know why this screw's so big. Maybe it's like some kind of counter counterbalance or something maybe going on there. Anyway, you can see as the shaft turns, it it pulls the, the plunger in and out. And I don't know if you can see it from that side. See right there, you can see it's not able to pull that plunger out. All yeah, see it right there because this thing is broken. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, so we're not getting a good a good a good stroke on this guy. So and uh, so that seems to be problem number one and. Uh, I was looking at this thing, it looks like it's been glued. That looks like it's got glue on it. Like maybe this thing has been broken before. Yeah, so you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but see right there, uh, it looks like it's been glued. So yeah, I don't know. I'll try cleaning that up and see if I can uh, if I can re-glue it. So uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just gonna take a couple of these uh, alcohol prep pads and uh, see if I can clean this this guy up. Whoa! Oh, that thing that looks like it's fixing to break. Yeah, we got. So the best thing for me to do would be to pull this motor out or this whole assembly out and this and take this plastic piece off, repair it, and then and then put it back inside the uh the unit. <laughs> the thing is it's it would be nice to be able to just glue it back on there, right, and be done with it, but I I can see right here this piece right here is getting yeah, it's 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 gonna it's probably not gonna last much longer either. So I'm gonna take a look real quick on how hard it's gonna be for me to remove this assembly. If I could just take the motor out, that would probably be okay. But I'd rather pull everything out so I can I can work on it you know, on the bench, right? So let me take a look. I'll be right okay. So I pulled. I pulled this connector off and <laughs> man this thing is this thing is uh is crusty and brittle and I so when I was pulling it off I I broke the little tab. So and I I'm sure you can buy these things. Um but uh, yeah, so I was and I I just pulled it back a little bit just to get this off. So I'm not going to try pulling these others off. I had to pull I don't know if you can see. I had to pull this one back. A little bit to get the uh, the motor lead leads off of there, and uh, they're all keyed, so that's that's nice. And like I said, we'll 
We'll take a look at this board later if this video is not like an hour long. Uh, I, I wanted to make this fairly quick. Uh, that's why I keep stopping and starting the video. But anyway, okay, so um, yeah, this looks like this is going to come out just by taking off these four four screws that hold it to the plate. So, uh, and uh, looks like there's a ground, but that's all this is coming out. So, yeah, I, I think we can get that off and uh, we'll be able to work on it a little better. So, all right. I will, uh, I'll be back. So I was looking at this thing going, how am I going to get that nut out of there? And then I noticed it's got this nice little access hole right here that you can stick a nut driver down. That is very, very nice. Very nice. Now, it works great for pulling it apart. I don't know about putting it back together. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's... That's very nice. So, uh, excellent. And these, the, the front two, uh, look like it should just slide out. So, uh, I don't really have to take those off. Well, I guess I will have to take it because it's not slotted back, back here. And yeah, you can't pull these screws out there. They're riveted in the bottom. At least I think those are rivets. Yeah. Some kind of some kind of pop pop rivet screw thing so yeah I'll just have to take them all off and so I'll have to figure out how to get to this one that one shouldn't be too hard I think I can just use my pliers here or or uh, some sort of uh, wrench but uh, anyway I'll, I'll get this thing off I'll be right back check this out this is now this is funny so I uh, remember I was talking about this, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to pull that guy off. It, uh, you know, since it's not slotted. And if you see the washers on these, all three of them have them. Yeah, so here's the other one for this back one, except for this one. <laughs> so it just slid right off. It, was, they, it wasn't even being used. So I don't know if someone's tried repairing this thing and and I'm guessing like I said that looks like it's been glued I'm guessing someone has has had a go at this thing before and uh, that's probably why it was for sale let me get this this thing out and we'll take a better look at it okay so now that I can take a better look at this I'm not exactly sure how that motor is being held on there <laughs> Well, I guess it's it's using these two um, Allen wrench heads here, but it looks, that's interesting. So yeah, I was looking at this going, well, it looks like I can just pull these four screws out and this thing will, maybe I can maneuver it off there. I'll have to take this, this thing off. But yeah, you can see, you can see right here that it's, it's, it's got an offset hole drilled in it and it's got this big, set screw right here uh i i don't know if they did that because it's acting like a counterbalance yeah i it's got to be something like that it's got a, it's countering the the weight on this side right here so it's so it doesn't have a lot of vibration anyway that's that's pretty interesting i'm i'm kind of worried about pulling this thing apart because if it's as crusty as this plastic is here i'm it's it's liable not to not to survive the operation, but uh, yeah, I I, I really want to get this piece off of here so we can uh, work it and see if we can uh, make you know, toughen this thing up. I don't know. Maybe we can put some uh, like fiberglass reinforcement over it. I don't know. Well, we'll have to take a look at it. Yeah, so anyway, I guess back to what I was saying. I, I don't think I can pull this off, <laughs> this motor off, with without because I wanted to pull the motor off and just kind of slide it back out so we didn't have to mess around with this thing. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to take this off. I'll probably pull this off just as a good measure. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've loosened these screws up.
Yeah, 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 I had a feeling. Yeah, they wasn't gonna. It wasn't gonna just fall apart for me. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, I try. <laughs> I, uh, I pulled that screw out. And, uh, yeah, this thing didn't pop out. And I was looking at it. And I don't know if you can see down in there. But it looks like it's threaded into this bearing. And I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> great. Uh, the problem is, um, I don't want to... You know, try prying on this this guy, and I don't have a I don't have a uh, any kind of a pulley, you know, like a like a pulley puller, if you will, that will um, pull that thing off of there. And it's not just popping off. I I kind of tinkered with it a little bit, and and it's just not going to just jump off of there, unfortunately. So. <laughs> Yeah, and that's that's a, that's what I was worried about pulling this thing off is that it's you know this thing is old and crusty and you already saw what happened to this plastic and that other piece of plastic and uh, yeah I can see this going south you know going really bad really fast so I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna think about it for a little bit and uh, I might try. You know, maybe... See, the thing is, if I pry too much, I'm going to put more pressure on this, and I don't want to disintegrate that thing more than it already is, right? Got a little bit of a wiggle out of it. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, no, did I damage it? It looks like it's just, I don't see, it doesn't look like it's going through. Like I said, I, I, when I get it pulled off of here, I'll, uh, um, I'll inspect it a little better. Yeah, see that, you know, that's, that's, that's a problem with messing with this stuff. It's so old and crusty and stuck on there. This time I just, I mean, it, it, it did pop off, but then the screwdriver went and gouged this thing. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> I, uh, I was looking at this a little bit more, and I'm still stuck in the same boat. I, I, I mean, you can you can see, I, just from me messing with it, it's, well, I don't know. This, this thing is, who knows how long it's been broke like that. So, let me see. I'm gonna very, I, I figured I'd turn the camera on and let you watch in case I really just dork this thing. <laughs> at least it'll be on camera, right? And uh, my buddy's probably cringing right about now if he's watching this video going, oh my God, what's he do doing to my... Uh, this thing looks like it's... Oh, come out of there. How does they... How does this thing go together? Oh, there I go, using the screwdriver again, right? Because how many people are screaming at me, stop using the screwdriver! <laughs> Yeah, I know. Well, um, I need something flat and non-sharp, and this screwdriver is about the only thing I have. Let's see. All I'm trying to do is get this washer off here. Because I think once I get this washer off of this guy, I'll, um, ah, there we go. Whoop, I thought it broke there. Well, it, it pulled out a little bit. I think I got this washer loose, though. There we go. That's what we were looking for. So now I should be able to just gently. Oh, it's got a lip on it. <laughs> well, so we're going to have to end up just pulling. Let's look at this gasket real quick. 
Whoa, yeah, I did slice it, but it didn't go through. That's, that's not good. The good news is it looks like it didn't really hurt the seal part. The bad news is it's got a nice little gash on the part that's probably going to be doing all the work. You know, the, the <laughs> bouncing in and out. So, yeah. So, yeah, so this thing, this little piece of plastic right here, has got a lip on it, which I, I know I'd seen it right here, but it didn't dawn on me that I was going to have to uh, get this uh, pulley and and everything out at the same time. So. <laughs> I've got half a mind to kind of tap on it, see if I can push it in a little bit, you know, just to, because I think it's just kind of, you know, just stuck like everything else, right? So hold on, let me see if I can set this up where I can beat on it. Okay. <laughs> so the idea is, uh, hopefully I don't break this, <laughs> this plate down. I'm not going to hit it very hard. But I'm, I, what I want to do is just tap it inwards just a little bit to see if I can break, um, you know, whatever, you know, it's probably just between the steel and the brass has just gotten a little bit kind of corroded or, you know, it's just, it's just old. Oh, wow, that popped right in. Yeah, see, and that. See now it's in a now it binded right up against this piece of plastic, but maybe that was enough to. Uh... Oh yeah, see, see, I'm not so crazy after all. There we go, and this is the money shot. Yeah, so you can see this guy. But yeah, you can see right there, it, it looks like it's been, I don't know, it's hard to tell. This whole plastic's just so crusty. So yeah, so now what we've got to do is figure out, you know, I need to clean, clean up this piece and glue this piece back on there. And But even with the glue, we know that this piece of plastic right here is, is probably not going to last too much longer on its own. So we need to figure out how we're going to reinforce. I mean, I think this down here where this reinforcement is, is going to be fine, but it's up, up here where we want to figure out, or we want to see if we can add some more strength. So when we assemble it, it'll stay assembled. We can't add too much more because we, we don't want to make this thing all out of out of balance because then we're going to have, and then it'll just throw it, fly, it'll probably fly apart. But yeah, you can see this thing is kind of, I don't know if you can see down in there, but you can see this thing's kind of crusty, so that's okay. Nice sealed bearing there. Fafner. Hmm. Never heard of it. All right. Very cool. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to try to gently clean this thing up. I, I, I do believe that's glue on there. I, I, I haven't put it under the scope. I, I didn't really want to mess with it that much. It looks like it's coming off. Which is good. So I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm just going to go around. I'm going to clean, clean these, these ends up, and then I'm going to clean the outside a little bit. Uh, I might even rough it up some with some sandpaper. And uh, gosh, I might as well clean the inside too while I'm at it. But I'm not going to do anything to the inside because we don't want to change the, uh, the diameter. But anyway, I'll be back. I don't want to bore you with this. I don't want this video too long. Okay. 
Well, I, I just used a little bit of super glue here, glued it back together. As you can see, it looks, looks okay. Yeah, so, um, and yeah, I cleaned it up with the alcohol pads before I, I glued it. Yeah, you, you can see, you can't even see where the new brake is, but that old brake, I, I, you know someone's had a go at this thing. <laughs> yeah, because I had to scrape some old glue off of it. And, uh, whoa, <laughs> there we go, I'm gonna break it again. So, okay, well, it's glued. Now, uh, now we need to think about some reinforcement on here. So, uh, yeah, I'll think about that for a little bit. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so, <laughs> here's the solution I came up with. And, uh, you can be the judge whether I'm crazy or not. So, I did not just go out and buy this stuff. I have had it in the shop, oh, well over a year, maybe two years. I don't see any date codes on this, not really important. Well, this, just, uh, this says 3M2012, so maybe I've had it in there longer than that. I don't know. But um, I bought it for something else and never used it. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut maybe one or or two little strips, or maybe take one strip and fold it, fold it over. And uh, I'll measure from here to here. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll go a little further. I, I don't want to glob too much stuff on this thing. But I'll mix up some fiberglass resin and some hardener. I'll put a layer down first right here, and then I'll, I'll lay the fiberglass on top of it. And then I'll put another um, coating of fiberglass resin on top of this stuff. I have used this stuff in the past. It's kind of a mess. <laughs> so I'll try to record some of it. Uh, but if it starts getting real goopy and gooey and, and like it says right here, it's sandable in two hours. So I have to work quick and I don't know if I'll be able to video it. I'll try to. Or show you what's going on anyway, right? Alrighty, so I went ahead and and sanded this part, this top part right here, a little bit down the sides and on both both ends, so the um, epoxy can stick better. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the fiberglass now. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I I read the instructions on this thing, and um, Basically, you mix the hardener, and then you put a coat on this. I think I already went over that with you. Then you put your fiberglass cloth on there, and you kind of put more resin and hardener mix on top of that. Then you put another one on, and you, and you do that again. Now, uh, one for sure. I'll try to get two on if it starts getting too too messy, you know, like the fiberglass is pulling apart and getting all stringy and falling apart, then I might just stick with one. I, I think one's going to be sufficient. <laughs> it's going to, it's going to be a whole lot better than what it is now. But, you know, two would, two is always, it would be better. I'm going to use some, some, um, sorry, I'm looking at the, the monitor. It looks like I got a little bit of an overexposure going on. Uh, hopefully it looks all right in the video. But anyway, um, you know, it says to use a brush. You have to be careful because this stuff just gets really gooey and sticky and you will know, start pulling the little fibers out. And that's why if you're wondering why it's so wide is because you can see the edges. If I tried cutting it that wide, it would just, just crumble in my hands, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and, and mix this stuff up. I'm gonna put a little resin in here. Whoop! <laughs> well, that should do it. That should be enough. Yeah, and uh, whoo, boy, this stuff is stinky. And this hasn't been opened yet. There we go. That's probably really good to do to my, my good wire cutters, huh? Now, it, it says, you know, one ounce, ten drops. You know, I'm just going to put some in there. Um, uh, like I said, it's it just, if you don't put enough in, well, if you don't put enough in, it won't harden. 
If you put too much in, it's going to harden real fast. And then you got something in between there. So I, I usually put more than what's required. And uh, and then just kind of hope for the best. I, I didn't want to go get a, a measuring cup for this thing. And if you're wondering, I did read the instructions because uh, it's been... It's been many years since I've done this, and um, and yeah, I am putting it, putting some resin on the, on both sides. This stuff is sandable, in case you're wondering. Go ahead and put this guy on there. All right, and just kind of dab him down. Yeah, I should be using gloves. Um, this stuff has got all kinds of bad stuff things in it, car carcinogenic things, but <laughs> I am, uh, I'm trying to get this done today, uh, so, so I can use it, and I, I need to, I need to rework some, some boards, and, and I thought, well, you know, I was thinking, well, if I can repair this thing, then, then I can use it. it it'll the, the time it takes me to repair it will be worth. It will will save me that much time repairing those boards. So I was trying to weigh. Okay, do I do I try to repair this thing? You know, save me some time reworking the boards, or do I just rework the boards manually? Well, that looks beautiful. If it will stay, maybe I'll find something that'll. That will hold that down. Hold on. It looks like it's it's gonna stay on its own, so I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna let it just sit there. It's got two layers on it. It's got plenty of epoxy over it. The stuff's already starting to get a little tacky, so I know I've got enough hardener in it. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna mess around with it too much. Uh, it is sandable, so I can cut all the excess off, sand off all the hard stuff and get it down to the, the shape we want it. So I'm gonna go clean up my stuff, I'll be right back. All right, well there you have it. Uh, now I've went ahead and cleaned up my tools. It's been sitting, it's it's getting tacky. I'm not gonna touch it, but, cause I just cleaned my hands, but uh, yeah, now we just gotta let it sit for two hours. It says after two hours, it will be sandable. And as long as it's above 75 degrees, and it is 79 degrees in the lab, so, uh, I will see you in two hours. Don't forget, you can support the Muxall Open IoT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, Post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.